If you can use Excel, you can use PIM sheet. In this spirit, we added support for visualizing some if and count if formulas to PIM sheet. Instead of filtering and grouping model data with simple PIM's own tools, you can now do the same with Excel's own simple and amazing features. Hi, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. Let's see how using and visualizing some if and count if formulas work in PIM sheet. Okay, here's the benefits. In the previous PIM sheet tutorials, I always extracted subset of building elements to different worksheets, like in this one. It's easy to end up with a lot of sheets in this way. While this can be a good way of organizing the data in some cases, in others you might prefer more straightforward way. So instead of extracting only subset of data from the model for each sheet, you could extract for example all the walls. Or while you're at it, why not all the building elements in the model? Not, however, that the latter works well only if you have a normalized model in your use. Meaning that all the building elements have the same basic set of data. But even if you don't, you can use the following techniques to simplify your BIM sheets and make them even more interactive. Anyways, create a single group called for example all, whatever you want. Assign all the building elements you need to it, then drag and drop the group to BIM sheet to extract all the data at once to one sheet. You still need to select the properties as before, like I've done here, but this time you don't have to use any filters, because we are going to use some if and count if functions to find the right set of data for our calculations. Ok, let's see how to use the actual formulas. Here's a basic example. I have selected the range of the length measure column as the data I want to summarize. I've selected the range of the building story column for applying the criteria to. And finally, I have typed in a building story name as the criteria to apply. The formula has calculated the sum of all the building elements from the first floor. I can now click on the formula and the related objects are highlighted from the model. Very cool. Note that just like before, you can even click on another formula referencing the sum if formula and still see all the related elements, in this case for these euros. Amazing, right? If I change the criteria to second floor, then my calculation is updated and again you can check the result. The restriction at the moment is that the criteria in the formula can only be text. So you cannot use numeric or data criteria or logical operators or wildcards yet anyways. And you cannot use other formulas inside your sum if formulas in order the visualization to work. But what you can do is to reference a text cell or cells to use as your criteria. Like in this next one. It takes its criteria from the C5 cell. You could even create a dropdown for easy selection like I've done here. If you don't know how to do this, a simple Google search will help you to use the lists as data validation. It's really easy. Now I can change the value from the dropdown and my summaries are changed accordingly. And every time I can visualize the end result from the model. What if you need to use multiple criteria? Say calculate all the internal walls from a specific building story. BIM sheet also supports some ifs formulas. Here also the criteria can only be text, but you can use multiple ones, like in this next example. So in my sample model, there's this much INT100 in the first floor and this much in the second floor and so on. How about the base labs? Oops, I don't have them in the second floor, but in the first one. Makes sense, since it is the base lab. Every time you change the criteria, the sum is automatically updated and you can check the result. Same applies to the count if and count ifs formulas. Here's a simple example, filtering based on building stories. And here I use multiple criteria the same way as above. How many wall elements do I have in the fourth floor? Or doors of this kind? How about toilet seats? Finally, check that all the building elements you need are in the calculation by clicking on the total sum. That's simple BIM magic for you. These were just simple examples. There's all sorts of things you can do by applying these techniques to your BIM sheet. You could, for example, build your whole bill of quantities or bill of materials with this technique. So, 
I hope you find these new possibilities helpful. As always, Simple PIM and PIM Sheet keeps getting better. We would love to hear feedback from you. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.